Alright guys, so at reset this morning, we got some info about the next explosive chain battle that's going to be dropping on both sides of the game for the worldwide celebration. And as you guys know, I absolutely despise this event. I think it's arguably the worst event in the entire game, even rivaling the world tournament. But anyways, with that said, I'm actually in need of some good skill orbs, so I'm kind of looking forward to this one. Anyways. Uh, let's jump into the details here. It says the next explosive chain battle will be available on Monday, September 26th, which is in about a week from now at 4 a.m. Uh, I'm assuming Pacific Standard Time. You will face Goku and Vegeta in the upcoming explosive chain battle. So this time the bosses are Vegeta and Goku. And characters from the following three categories have an advantage against the enemy Goku and Vegeta. And the advantageous categories this time are Artificial Life Forms, Resurrected Warriors, and Accelerated Battle. In addition, the following characters can deal more damage to the enemy. So here's a quick look at the advantageous or effective units uh, list. And as you guys can see, it's basically just cooler movie villains, right? So we got all the metal coolers, we got the final form coolers, we got the regular coolers, we got Salza in there, as well as uh, Cooler's Minions, uh, Naze, uh, I think it's Dore, uh, Cyclopean Guard, and so on and so forth. So those are the advantageous categories this time, obviously, for the extreme side, for the extreme supporters, you want to have a full team of coolers if possible, right? And then from there, we have some details about an update to the secret treasure chest as well as some new skill orbs so it says the contents of secret treasure chest that can be opened with emblem of cooperation which is the uh, pepsi logo and emblem of unity will be updated certain skill uh, orbs gold slots with, uh, with a lower level will be removed making it easier to obtain powerful skill orbs so essentially they're saying that they're uh, gonna be taking away some of the trash skill orbs right the ones that maybe only give you like level one or level two additional or a dodge or whatever so that it's more likely you have a higher rate of getting the better skill orbs like a level five attack or sorry a level five additional or level five crit or something to that effect which is obviously a great thing right and also a uh, new skill orb or new skill orbs gold slot, they can raise a hidden potential skill by five levels and another hidden potential skill by four levels. So nine levels in total will also be available. So I'm thinking it's gonna be something like a level five crit slash level four additional or level five additional level four crit or maybe even like level five crit level four attack or something like that. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know. Obviously, the best skills, the ones that everyone is looking for, are additional and uh, crit, right? And obviously, attack is great too. Defense is good too. So, hopefully, it's some combination of those ones. Because, like, honestly, who cares about HP? <laughs> you know, and dodge is good. Dodge is good. But I just feel like additionals and crits are definitely the most useful, right? So, yeah, hopefully, that's what they're talking about. And uh, yeah, strengthen your allies and prepare for the upcoming explosive chain battle. Please note that the event content and dates are subject to change without prior warning. And we hope you continue to enjoy playing Dragon Ball Z Dogon Battle. So that is the news release. That is the in-game info about this upcoming explosive chain battle. Now, we do have a awesome post on Twitter, which I'll show you guys right now. Let me just change the display here real quick. From a... Twitter user that uh, gives us some info about some of the uh, best teams and best units to use for this chain battle. So uh, here we go, switching over to the browser view. Here we are. And a big shout out to uh, Misaka K1 on Twitter for posting this. We really appreciate it and hope you're okay with me using this. Um, as you guys can see, uh, they have broken down the best units for both sides, for the super side and extreme side, as well as the best attacker. So I'm actually gonna disappear for a second, so I'm not blocking anything. There we go. And so for the uh, super side, you're looking at basically a full Goku team, 
and here's actually a tier list of like the best Gokus to use to the worst Gokus to use, right? So um, if you guys are trying to set as high of a score as possible, then you definitely want to have a team that looks something like this. Obviously, it's hard to get something exactly like it, but uh, you want to, you know, have as many of these Gokus as you possibly can. And for the connectors, then you want to have, you know, like the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku as, uh, I guess, the best connector possible. And then, you know, it goes down the list from here from best to worst, right? So from SS to B. And then on the extreme side, as you probably expected or would have guessed based on the effective or advantageous characters in the in-game news, you want to run Metal Coolers, right? You want to run a full team of Metal Coolers, including the uh, new LR, the HELEZA1, the LR Cooler Army, and uh, you know, some of their SSRs and stuff like that. And then for connectors, the best one would be the uh, LR Metal Cooler, and then the AGL Metal Cooler is the next best one, and so on and so forth, right? From SS to B right there. And then for attackers, best possible attacker is going to be the LR Cooler Army, but then the next one would also be the uh, LR Metal Cooler, which I guess it really depends on like your hidden potential investment, right? If you got the LR Cooler Army rainbowed, then they're probably the best bet, but if you got more investment in the new LR Metal Cooler, then maybe that's better. So maybe try different uh, different combinations. And then from there, we have the EZA Cooler, the uh, Int EZA Metal Cooler, and so on and so forth. So that is a full breakdown here for anybody that is interested in maybe working on some units, making sure that your teams are ready to go by the time that this event drops. You got about a week to get prepared, so it should be enough time for most people to at least, you know, get their connectors uh, built up or their attackers built up. If you, you know, need to, like, awaken some of these units, then you do have about a week to do that, right? So, uh, once again, a big shout out and thank you to Misaka K1 for posting this. This is super, super useful. And uh, as you guys might know, man, I'm not like the most knowledgeable guy when it comes to uh, chain battle. I'm also not like really that interested in spending too much time analyzing this event because I just don't like it. But, but I am interested in getting top 1%. So this will definitely help a lot. So, uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. I'm going to just come back here and... Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.